Hello. Me and James would like to wish every one of you at home a happy holiday season. We also want to provide you with a special gift. I would like to offer you my secret recipe for mashed potatoes and corn. First, get you a can of corn. Then, get you a can of mashed potatoes. Now, heat that up and have a happy Thanksgiving. Gobble, gobble. <laughs> gobble, gobble. James, if you don't get on somewhere, who if you wasn't Clarice's oldest boy, I would... Yeah. From Hollywood, California, it's Cedric the Entertainer Presents... With Amy Brissett, Sean the Jumper, J.B. Smooth, Wendy Raquel Robinson, and the beautiful Sensation Dancer. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Cedric the Entertainer! has been granted the said station. Yippee! How y'all doing, man? How everybody feeling, man? Good, 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 good. I'm feeling good. You know, tomorrow is Thanksgiving. Getting ready for the grub. You know, but you know, you almost hate to have Thanksgiving dinner at your house because you know when somebody get ready to throw down, they walk in with sweatpants on. <laughs> Got their own aluminum fall. No, they talking about. Let me get a plate, said. Let me get a plate. I'm gonna go on and leave with a little something. You know, that's the only thing about uh, Thanksgiving. You know, I, I, I hate when the flies in the house and you're trying to do the prayer. I can't pray when the fly. You know, you're supposed to be. You know, your eyes are supposed to be closed. You, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, get on, get on, get on. <laughs> off that macaroni. <laughs> yeah, the family prayer where you know that one uncle that be giving away the family business, be telling folk business in the prayer. <laughs> Let us all pray. Uh, dear Heavenly Father, we pray that you won't let our nephew Johnny come out the closet. <laughs> Not this year, Father. At least let Big Mama pass. And, then, and God bless Luther, who's lost his job and hadn't told his wife yet. Father, allow her the strip to forgive him as he forgave her for creeping with Brother Ellis. And oh, yeah, bless the food. Amen. She's like, no. Hey, y'all, we got a hot shot for you. Come on. So, you decided? Yeah, yeah, it's for, uh, it's for my girlfriend, and I want a symbol of strength and love and commitment. I want this single rose right here, right up on my shoulder. Right up. <laughs> All right, it's cool, man. Yeah? Sit back, we'll get started. Okay. So you, uh, sorry, did I? What happened? Hey, you know, I just remembered, man, that a single rose means you're available in prison. Oh, well, I'm really glad you told me before you were finished. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so what do you suggest? Uh, uh, yeah. 
Balloons. You just say balloons? Yeah, yeah, like a group of them, you know, on, uh, on strings. Oh, I, you know, I don't know, man. You know, this I was... is about love, man. You do love her, right? Yeah, yeah, I love her. In balloons, man. Bless you. Hey, bro. Hey, if you don't, you know, if you don't like balloons, man, it's not too late to change, man. That's what I'm saying. But you, you just said balloons represent love. Yeah, if you're a clown. <laughs> you're not a clown, are you? I don't know, maybe you are, maybe you aren't. I don't know. <laughs> balloons. <laughs> You know what? You need something manly, man. Something that says macho, man. Like what? <sighs> wow. <laughs> Ice cream. <laughs> Ice cream's very manly, man. Wait. Look, it... no, wait, 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 wait. Ice cream? That's, that's the worst idea. Bro, she's gonna love it, man. She'll lick your back. I don't want her to lick my back. <laughs> you never had a back job? <laughs> it's 2002, bro. You're missing out, man. Really? Well, okay, all right. I I'll get the ice cream, but, but how long is this gonna take? Done. That's it? Really? That was fast. Yeah. Hi, Annie. Oh. Let me see. <sighs> Somebody's getting a back job tonight. Oh. <laughs> Back, please believe. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Maz Jobrani. Hey, excuse me, this is the law offices. Okay, uh, where is the birthday boy? But hey, birthday boy! Hey, yeah, you fill out business card to win free lunch from Hassan House of Kebab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Khalil, Hassan brother-in-law. I'm here to deliver singing birthday card for you, birthday boy. Okay, without further ado, I get started. <laughs> Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Okay. Oh, I almost forget, birthday boy. Oh, here is a half-off coupon. Ladies and gentlemen, we will be arriving in Las Vegas in 45 minutes. You're free to move about the cabin. Baby, 
I'm so glad you finally got off house arrest so I could take you on this trip. You don't care about me, Cash. You only call me whenever you be getting dumped by one of them little bougie girls. Baby, why would I want a bougie girl when I got a fine-ass Project Princess right here? Oh, Cash, you're so smooth and stuff. You are that. Mm-hmm. Baby, I'm thirsty. You want to go get me a 40? All right. Baby, I will get you the biggest tiny bottle they got. I love you, Cash. <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> Excuse me, sister. Can a brother get up? Cassius, what are you doing here? <laughs> Cicely, darling. <laughs> what a surprise. I am on my way to see the exhibit at the new Guggenheim Museum. Why? To check out the Van Holes, the Picasso Holes, the Honolithas? <laughs> Touche. But believe me when I say that since we broke up, I've changed. I realize that you are the only woman that I've ever loved. Cassius, I've heard all of that before. <clears throat> Fine. I believe it was Cicero who said... What's a 40 dog? <laughs> There's this woman who keeps asking for it, and she said if I don't get it for her, she's going to mess up my grill. <clears throat> I mean, goodness gracious. <laughs> You'll excuse me. Well, where are you going? I have a gift for you that I've been carrying around like the pain in my heart. Hey. <laughs> Where my alcohol is? Hey, sit down for it. For real? They can do that? Let me get your earring. What? Nah. See, we're in international airspace right now, and okay. U.S. currency is no good, and I gotta give them something. Oh, oh, oh. I'll be right back. Here you are. Bracelets? Yeah, yes, bracelets. Oh, Cassius, maybe I had you all wrong. Look, why don't we toast to new beginnings? I just got this from the pilot. Perfect. <laughs> I'll take this back to my seat and open it. Well, why don't you just open it here? <laughs> and risk putting out one of those beautiful eyes with my love-drunk clumsiness? Never. <laughs> What's up, baby? Mm. <laughs> do cash come through or do cash come through? Hmm. Where my straw? <laughs> you don't need no straw, baby. Just take it to the head. My champagne? My earring? Why are you pouring that good champagne down that dirty drain? I know you're not letting that sky stink with the good earrings that I stole from my grandmama. Darling, look, she is merely an acquaintance, okay? Come on, boo. Homegirl trip. Just cheat. I am so sure you can see the humor in all of this. Deal with you later, Cassius. But right now, I am about to violate a few federal laws by smoking this hood rat. <laughs> Bring it on, fly, fetch it. Oh. It's good y'all working that out. I'll just meet y'all in baggage claim. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> I'm staying at the Bellagio this weekend. I find the other establishment so gauche. I want to introduce you to your new roommate. This is Cordell. He's a transfer student from state. Ah, uh, cool. Penn State? Nah, State Penn. Um, I was on lockdown for a minute. Uh, yeah, well, welcome to Yale. Uh, wow, you're in prison? Look, man, you know, I did my time, man. You know, I got enrolled in the jail to Yale program, and here I am. Cool, man. 
That's awesome. I've been to jail one night before, too, man. Me and my friends, we all tore down the goalpost during homecoming. It was crazy, man. Yeah. Oh, I know who got my back. Yeah. My Ruben. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Have a cookie, dog. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I know who made this, man. I know the dude that made that, man. He got the chair. That's gonna be worth a lot of money someday, man. You better hold on to that, man. All right, man. Listen, we should talk about money. We gotta split the phone bill. No, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't worry about all that, man. <laughs> we rich, dog. <laughs> Cigarettes and soap player. Yeah, that's awesome. Hey, you guys, there's a party up on the third floor. You should come up. This is awesome. Yeah. Let's go, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, 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 hold up, hold up. What's up? She ain't going nowhere. <laughs> That's my bitch. Break out. Oh, OK. Sorry. <laughs> Tripping, yo. Yeah, yo, hold up. OK. What was that? Because I am not your bitch. Then why would you eat my cookie? Because I like cookies. You know something, man? Since I got here, you've been teasing me, man. Walking around with the shoes, with the toes all exposed. <laughs> And you ate my cookie! You mean to tell me that means something different in Yale than it does in jail? Okay, hold up. You know what? We gotta have a talk, man. Have a seat, because we gotta straighten some stuff out. And I'll tell you something right... Hey, what are you... No, man! Look! You're not in prison anymore, okay? You gotta adjust to the outside. And just because I ate your cookie doesn't mean I'm your bitch! Oh, yes, it does. One cookie?! That's all it takes, doll. Uh, hey, did you, uh, shank somebody in the student center? Oh, oh, that is it. I am through with this. Yo, yo! What? I'll see you in the shower. What? Ew, ew. <laughs> hey, Cordell, we're not gonna have a problem here, are we? Nah, homie. You want a cookie? <laughs> I love chocolate. <laughs> Lord, do I love Thanksgiving. Nothing makes me happier than providing food and comfort to these snotty-nosed college kids whose parents don't want them home for the holidays. They call them Generation Y. Mm -hmm. U-G-L-Y, ugly. <laughs> Hello there, Roger. What are those books you reading? Uh, nothing you'd understand, cafeteria lady. It's beyond your scope. Let me tell you what's beyond scope. Your breath. <laughs> I had to be me, but you need Listerine. <laughs> not a sip, not a swallow, but the whole damn bottle. <laughs> Unfortunately, I cannot subsist on your wit alone. Uh, give me some green beans. Ain't no more green beans. Just mashed potatoes. You know what? Ain't no more nothing. I don't like you. Get on out of here. But uh, do you know who my father is? No, but neither does your mother. Now go on. That's right. That's right. You better go on on. I'm like your grandmama's gravy. I'll make you lump it. <laughs> you better write it down. I ain't the one. Well, look at it. Miss Sorority Princess, how are you? Fine. Listen, what do you have that's low-cow? What does it matter to you? You ain't gonna do nothing but throw it up anyway. <laughs> I haven't seen that many ribs since my family reunion. <laughs> Cafeteria lady, you are such an urban cliche, so whatever. Whatever what? Whatever what? 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 That's right. I'm a valley girl that no black belt. I beat your butt like Tedley. <laughs> well, hello. It is a Simon, the class president. Now, how does it feel being important for the last time in your life? Fine. Can I get some stuffing? Ain't no more stuffing. 
Just cranberry sauce and greens. Oh, really? I love cranberry sauce and greens. And them all. Just stuffing. Ha <laughs> ha! Cafeteria lady, I got you. All I wanted was stuffing anyway. <laughs> oh, Lord, how could you pull such a cruel trick on somebody who ain't never went to college? All I got is a sixth grade education. And I had to drop out to take care of my blind mother. Lord Jesus. Cafeteria lady, I am so sorry. I apologize from the bottom of my heart. Here, that wasn't cool. Take the stuff in. Ha! Fooled you, jackass. I went to Vassar, class of 52, majored in reverse psychology. And I washed dishes at Harvard. <laughs> Mm -hmm, that's right, run on on. I'm a turkey farmer who ain't having it. You don't want to pluck with me, okay? <laughs>